Hey guys, what's up? It's John here again today from Toxic Spikes coming at you with another narrated Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi Fi battle. Um, we're actually going to be in the RU tier today. The reason we're in the RU tier is because of the recent tier shifts. So, for those of you who weren't paying attention uh, or maybe just don't care as much about the RU tier, uh, recently Darmanitan, Stack Attacka, and Metagross all dropped into the RU tier. Um, so that really shook up the tier a lot. Uh, this is intense because, you know, Metagross is, he's honestly a, a king of, like, Pokemon. Ever since he's been released, he has been one of the staple mons of OU. And it just goes to show you how far Power Creep has come, that we've hit a point where his base form is not enough. He needed the Mega Evolution and his Mega Evolution just puts him way too over the top, which is why he's Ubers. But Base Form Metagross, which was considered like uh, groundbreaking, you know, back in Gen 3 and it, well into Gen 4, is now starting to fall behind so much that it's in rarely used. So does this mean maybe in a Gen 8 we could see never used Metagross? You know, <laughs> never used Darmanitan? Has Power Creep hit us that hard? Well, I'm excited to see what ends up happening, but for now, we can enjoy these guys in the lower tiers. So immediately, my mind went to Trick Room, and uh, get into battle. I don't want to talk your guys' ears off too much, because I know this is what you came here for. Uh, I went to Trick Room because of Stack Attack a dropping. The reason that this is so powerful, or this is so impactful to Trick Room teams in the RU tier, is because Stack Attack is not only a great Trick Room sweeper, but he can set Trick Room himself. So... Um, this is actually huge. So now, when you look at my team, we've got one, two, three, four Trick Room setters and only two pure sweepers. So usually I lead in with Bronzong. I started out making this team having an Uxie lead, except I, I changed it because I found that Uxie, while very impactful in the higher tiers, believe it or not, is just really not all that great in, in RU. I've actually, like, because in the higher tiers, you know, it seems like the, the leads always want to set up their hazards and do all kinds of, you know, stuff that I can actually actively play against. But in the lower tiers, it just seems like I did, wasn't able to get up rocks, set up the trick room and memento as effectively as I was. But this just could be due to my unfamiliarity with the tier. So going up against a Rhyperior, you see that we out, we out slow even the slowest of Rhyperiors, so we're going to start off with a Stealth Rock. There's really not much he can do to us uh, in the way of damage, and he's just going to get Stealth Rock up right back. This is why I like Bronzong as a lead. There we go. We get that Trick Room going. Now, I don't really think he's going to want to stay in here, so I'm going to go for Toxic. Well, he stays in. <laughs> I... I you know what? If he wants to just stand and eat toxic damage, be my guest. I'll go for that. That's pitiful damage in return. However, if he's trying to wear down the trick room, you know, that's totally not the way to do it. Gyro Ball is going to chunk this Salazzle really hard, and toxic will... Oh, wait, he's immune, because, see, prepare to see a lot of this, guys. <laughs> John being very unfamiliar with how Pokemon in these tiers work, you know, like... Stuff like uh, in the higher tiers, like Greninja and Heatran, you see them every game, you know every set, like the back of your hand. I honestly never see Salazzle, so I didn't even know. I didn't even know he was Are you? But anyways, uh, we're at 8% here. I'm just going to go for the Gyro Ball here, take him down, and because I, I know even if he misses the Meteor Mash, I'm dead. So there's only one turn of Trick Room left, which isn't that great. But I can bring in the deadliest Trick Room Sweeper in the tier, or arguably one of the deadliest. And by looking at his team, I can see that he has Rhyperior as a good switch into Flare Blitz, as well as Flygon. So Shadow Bone is going to be our superior option here. He goes out to Rhyperior, and I was correct in thinking this. I could have gone for a low kick if I went for like a real crazy play, but we're not trying to play that crazy today. So... Assuming that he doesn't have super negative speed investment, he will outspeed me, as I'm only 85 speed. I gotta get out to Cress here. Here comes what I think will be an Earthquake. Yep, Levitate's gonna dodge that. And then we're gonna go ahead and trigger. Now, I wanna know your guys' thoughts on, on these RU drops. Because people have been saying, like, 
Oh, Darmanitan's going to break the tier. You know, oh, my opponent disconnected. Hopefully he'll come back. Regardless of whether he does or doesn't, Marowak is going to be my switch. Hmm. Oh, he came back. So, the way I see it is, like, they all kind of seem to balance each other out a little bit. So, like, first, when I first looked at those drops, I was like, dude, stack attack. I'm just going to trick room blow through the tier. But I noticed the main sweep stoppers of stack attack so far have been, uh, has been, you know, other than, like, Zygarde 10%, which I expected, has been Metagross. You know, because even with Earthquake, I really have a tough time getting through him. And he can switch in and eat my Continental Crush pretty well. Uh, or, like... Eh, Stack Attack does really well against Darmanitan. But Darmanitan, on the other hand, has been pretty crazy. But also, like I said... They're, they're, I don't know what I'm trying to get. I, I feel like they all of them dropping at the same time has just elevated the overall power level of the tier. Oh, looks like my opponent's going to surrender. If that makes any sense. So not that they directly counter one another, but basically that they can, uh, you know, like they, just adding them all onto different teams individually is is overall raising the power level of the RU tier. So I don't think it's going to be problematic. People are saying, oh, bam, Darmanitan's going right to RUBL. I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to stay in RU for a little while, and they're going to have to suspect test him. So as you can see, we're against the Darmanitan this game. And for out of fear that he's going to lead in with Darmanitan, I think we'll lead in with our Necrozma this game. Because I'm going to try and... Ooh, he actually leads in with a Blastoise. In... Okay, so if he leads in with Blastoise, we can go ahead and just... I know the Dark Pulse is coming. So I'm going to set up... I, see, I have weakness policy on this Necrozma, so if he Dark Pulses, I will live a hit thanks to Prism Armor. But I don't think Photon Geyser will be a KO back. Although I also don't really have a good switch to Dark Pulse, so I think, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to set up the Trick Room. So I do live like I expected, as long as I don't flinch also. That's happened to me before. Photon Geyser coming out here, and we're going to at least get close to taking down the Blastoise, because it's like I have a nasty plot up. Oof, Necrozma with nasty plot. What a what a world that would be. Uh, <laughs> see, like, Stack Attacka also faces the likes of Donphan in this tier, so I think that there's a lot more a lot more ways to stop him than people expected. I'm just real sad to see this guy fall, too, because he's one of my favorite mons. So I'm actually going to go to Ampharos here. Very good Trick Room Pokemon. I've got three turns of basically doing whatever the hell I want. And I think Dragon Pulse is going to be my best bet. Unless he switches into Bronzong, predicting me to to predict him to switch into Donphan. And then going for the HP Ice or the Dragon Pulse instead. Yeah, he's not going to make 8th level Batgammon predictions. So now he goes out to his Bronzong. Thunderbolt should 2-hit KO this guy. Ooh, he's a screen setter. This is going to be huge for him. So I'm going to go out to my own Bronzong here as he goes for Toxic. So that was a pretty good prediction on my part. And I'm going to get the rocks up. This is going to slow down his momentum, ideally. <laughs> and if he goes for, like, Dragon Dance here, which I predict him to, I'm going to go for Toxic. Doesn't miss, and now he's on a timer. Now I can go ahead and set up the Trick Room. And Thousand Arrows is super effective because it will smack down and negate my Levitate. However, I am now faster than him and an extreme speed should not kill me. His Light Screen wears off because this guy must have not had Light Clay. And Gyro Ball will do even more damage because of that Dragon Dance. So I'm predicting either a Switch here or a Dead Zygarde. Um, yeah, uh, people underestimate how, how strong that Gyro Ball is. That'll catch you off guard. So he goes out to Donphan, like I predicted, because he's probably going to want to go for a rapid spin, even though Marowak could stop a spin. Um, it's really just not going to... This is not a great switch, because I don't have much I can do in response. You know what? I could do this. This is I don't need Marowak, really, for anything else. And then if he takes one more turn of Toxic Poison and takes a Shadow Wound from me. Hmm, I just like these make me want to flip on the timer. Oh yeah, so my ELO in RU2 right now, it's not good, guys. It's Oh, 
Well, we won the game. <laughs> it's about <sighs> waiting for the ladder to update. That puts me at 1215. So I'm not so high in this tier yet. Like I said, I'm going to give you my commentary on it. I want to explore RU a little bit with the drops and see what happens. Um, especially, too, because this will allow the OU metagame to kind of plateau or, or settle down. And I won't have to, uh, you know, go through all of that experimentation in the weeks to come. Although, like I said, with Zygarde getting the axe, I don't think things are going to change too much. But let me know what you guys think about these recent drops. If that's my question of the day, let me know in a comment down below. Just uh, if you think that this is going to overall uh, change the RU metagame a lot, if these guys are going to get quick banned a lot, or if you think that it's going to all bounce out in the end and the RU tier will overall benefit from it. Anyways, guys, that's my video for today. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I just realized every video I've uploaded, I've had a win. I have not even recorded a loss. I don't do this on purpose, guys. I, I lose plenty of games. But, uh, yep, that's, that's all I got for today. Rate, comment, sub, and peace.